say hello to Tango. So what we have to do here is attack these and not get electrocuted. Okay, I'm gonna wait. And then attack. There we go, now we can attack this. Dodge. Attack again. Dodge. And attack once more. And then... Oh. Ow. Apparently I missed. I didn't realize I could get him one more take. Whoa, that was cutting it close. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna wait. And then attack. Again, and I'm not gonna wait this time. That's form one down. Next form, penultimate tango. I'm gonna get her to stop here. Attack this. Ugh, oh, that was kind of close. I was trying to avoid. Back. And this is gonna come back around again. That's one. Shield. Ack. Not fast enough. I'm probably gonna die a couple times to these forms just because I haven't played them in a long time. But if I can get away with. I hit the shield button! That means you create a shield! Grab that. I think I'm just getting a little too reckless is what's happening. Okay, attack. There we go. Got my shield that time. There we go. Grab you. And get you to move over. And this will allow me to attack. There we go. And this should bring down the penultimate form. And this is where I'm probably gonna die. Because it's now time for her final form as ultimate. Tango. You get no health bar here, and the music is rocking. Just pummel! Ah, why'd I do that? Don't get caught in the sword swipes, and you'll be fine. Ah, I forgot about that. And I took two hits because of it! Dang it! Darn it! Oh my goodness. Well, I'll meet you guys back there. At least I died on the final boss. <laughs> Alright, Tango, round two. On. I dodge that, Mother. Getting on my nerves. Ah. 
I didn't do that! Oh crap. Well, we're down to this form now, are we? Yes! Oh, there we go. One freaking hit left. Her pattern has never been that erratic with me. I know it's crazy, but still, she normally likes throwing the knives at me, not pummeling me with a hammer. just means I'm gonna have a low rank, that's all. <sighs> but Tango is down. Ugh. I hate getting a D. I've gotten an S on this fight. I love this fight. It's so good. I'll take what I can get. Let's head to the credits, shall we? The towers have all disappeared, as well as the cold winds. So this is 2888. I suppose it doesn't really matter to us at this point. I was given some interesting information just now. The cold industrial areas that appeared is where Darnik has hit his base. We didn't know where it was before. So when Dr. Tango talked about a new Darn, maybe some Darns remained. I mean, after Darnicus was defeated. They could have built up their strengths in hiding since we couldn't find the base. But then, who was Tango exactly? No matter, whoever she was, she unknowingly saved us. She restored the world as it is to us in order to get the Evomatic. But you stopped her, and now we're left with peace and the location of the base. It's all good. Now, we should rest. We have a city to rebuild and samurais to calm down. We'll probably become like a tourist attraction with cowboys running around. And nice work, Zoda. <laughs> that little line at the end, it just makes it seem so much late higher hearted. But this is Noi 2 Love 2. Love 2. <laughs> Devolution. Oh, I really do enjoy that final fight. The music's kicking, and it's just like, you gotta take her down. <laughs> oh, and a great sequel to the Noi 2 Love series. Zoda's such a cute character in all of her own charm. She seems all tough and serious, but has a cute side. <laughs> and I love how she's just going around town, thumbs upping everyone, saying, Don't worry about it, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Free food. <laughs> There's a guest boss design, huh? Talking to the Mafia dude. Huh. It's nice to see that this game ended up on Steam. I do actually own a copy of it before it ended up on Steam at all, where you had to purchase it off his website. But I think adding it to Steam was a nice touch. And playing it on the Wii U and the... I haven't tried the 3DS version. I can only imagine the chaos with the tiny screen. Seems interesting to me. And this game, just like the first, was made in Multimedia Fusion too. But if you guys really do enjoy what you see, I highly recommend picking up this game. It's a lot of fun. Haha. <laughs> Thumbs up smoke. Made back 2007-2008 by Konjak. I'm just going to call him by his name uh, as a stage name now or developer name. That's the word. Konjak. The thumbs up to us within the sunset.
and then we get a little yearbook. <laughs> this is where we get to see all the characters. Zoda Rap, Mr. Almond, Rilo Doppelori, Dr. Tango. Darn, darn worse, darn marksman, darn nitwit. I actually really love that he does this. It's a nice touch. Scoundrel, preachy, scrap, bastard. <laughs> and he is holding a bastard sword. Chikusho. Takimono, Kappa, Dimwit. <coughs> Jellfish, Darn Prick. Amoeba, Darn Eagle. The Falcon, the Hawk, Denim, Darn Fly. <laughs> darn Goomba. Huh. Scout. Overrider, a guardian. Worker and warrior. Both a pain. The sky crawler, Mordecai Fluke. The Grin Reaper, Cybris. O2 Joy, Poundalita, which I truly like her new design here. The Sea Serpent, Darn Fab. Grinsley Gumsboro, Darn Reckless. Sleeper Brakeman, the Darn Deco, the Sailor Man. Petunia, Watkins, Josephette, and the Boy. The Omega Darn, the Janitor. Tango Source the truck. <laughs> Anti-penultimate tango. Penultimate tango. Ultimate tango. Huh. We haven't seen Chitty Helms yet. Or these two. Waltz and Shadow Waltz. <laughs> and that will do it for Zoda's story. Now why do I say that? The end. <laughs> well, how about we click that screen because we've just unlocked Relo Mode and Records. And we've also unlocked the hardest difficulty. So if you want to take double damage, go right ahead. So now that we get booted back to the title screen, as for some reason my window gets caught in there again, I don't know why it likes doing that, and start up anew as Relo Doppelori. So let's show her off, shall we? And we're now in training room peacekeeper. Walk around. Jump. down and slide. So we slide, we don't run across. That's a difference. Still can wall jump. You can grab a hold of these. Sadly, we cannot fly to them like we could with Zoda. And then you just drop. And we shoot instead of beating things up. So we do have a distance, and you get some range with it too. As you can see, I might be shooting right here, but you get quite the distance with it. 
Lock on. Multi shot. Relo is all about long range. But not too far. And special moves are the same, but you can't really juggle them because you can't attack and then do it over again. And that's pretty much it. But you can get some pretty good distance just by doing this. Still make shields. And again, pausing and all that. And now we can leave the training mode. So, I am actually going to stop here because what I plan to do is, beginning of the next episode, I'm going to show you the secret boss, Shady Hans. Because I wanted to show that off with Zoda. And you can only get it with Zoda. So, for now, I'm going to stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Noi 2 Love 2. This is Oven Child saying, I'll see you all next time. Okay. I'm not in the best of moods right now because this is my third attempt at this fight. First one was because it was irritating and I got frustrated. Second time, my recording screwed up and I scrapped it. So here's hoping third time's the charm because I don't want to do this again. So looking at the uh, Lori poster brings us to a movie theater where they're watching Noi 2 Love. No, I don't want to get off the stage. You do. And now we have Shady Hans. He does shadow puppets, which hurt you! Duck! So just keep an eye on your own shadow and that'll help with this one. And then, charge. And kick him on the way back! I've got a very, very short fuse right now. Especially when my controls don't respond! Speaking of short fuses. Oh, what? So he's down to near half his health, which means he's gonna change up his tactics. Mother! Starting now. So aim high. I hit the double jump, Zoda! That means you double jump! Like I said. I've got a short fuse right now, so I'm going to be violently angry. But it looks like things are going a little better than last time! Ah. By the way, did I mention your health counts towards your score? Because it sure does! Take that, Shady Hans! Okay, who threw the popcorn? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just wanted to show off that fight without any hassle, without any frickin' screw-ups. Oh, at least we managed to get through it. God. I know I'm out of practice, but seriously... I think the keyboard on this old laptop is just finally going, because I've worn it out playing this game many, many times. <sighs> but that was the secret boss fight of Shady Hans. You can still view the photo as uh, Doppelori, but you can't fight Shady Hans' as, uh, Relo. I'm going to be switching between those two as I play through her story, by the way. It's only Zoda who gets to take on this boss. But... A fun boss nonetheless, just because it's so creative. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all when we play Relo's Story. Later!